Well, quite the celebration in Atmore as a nice sized crowd, as you can see this video here, turns out to wish John Ed a happy retirement. That's right, our chief meteorologist is leaving the airwaves after serving you for more than 30 years. Today, he broadcast live from Heritage Park during our 5 p.m. newscast, and lots of people came out to wish him well. And Fox 10 News meteorologist Matt Barentine was also at the park today. And he brings you a wrap of all the day's festivities. Tonight, Escambia County High's marching band gave John Ed a big send-off in Atmore. Band director Candace Robertson says the kids were excited to show their stuff. This is a wonderful experience. They've had a wonderful time, even though it has rained on us, but it, it's been a great afternoon for them. They've been really excited and looking forward to it all week. A couple hundred people came to Heritage Park in Atmore to say goodbye to John Ed. Many got an autographed picture of their favorite weatherman, but Stacy Seal got his John Hancock on something a little more personal. I uh, said he was uh, going to pursue his songwriting career and everything. And I'm a fellow musician myself. I just thought it would be awesome to have his autograph on my guitar. Cheryl Vickery with the Chamber of Commerce in Atmore helped set up the John Ed Farewell at Heritage Park. She says the town has been excited to get a chance to say goodbye. John Ed's been with you, what, 32 years now? And, that, and through all the hurricanes, we pretty much watched him. So, yeah, and, it, you know, they're just all coming out to say goodbye because it's, it's, he's a legend. Good luck, John Ed. We'll miss you on Channel 10 News. We love you. And at more, Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News. Now, keep in mind, you still have a couple more chances to say goodbye to John Ed in person. Next week, we'll move to beautiful Pensacola Beach. John Ed will be broadcasting live from Casino Beach Wednesday, May 13th. Everyone's invited, so come on out. And we'll have one more farewell forecast as well. That is Wednesday, May 20th at Cathedral Square, and that's in downtown Mobile.